Well, good morning. In the book of Matthew, Jesus is sharing and the disciples have been out on the road and they've been arguing amongst themselves, who's the greatest? Who's the most important? Who's the most in charge? And uh, as they have that argument, Jesus says to them that among the Gentiles, among unbelievers, those who have the most power are the most important. But he says in this passage, he says, it shall not be so among you. Whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. You see, as believers in Jesus, we live not so others serve us, but that we would serve others. You see, that's what Jesus did. He came not to be served, he's the King of glory. But as he came, as he came and as he lived, he didn't live as the one who wanted everybody to cater to him. No, he came and served and gave even his life for your sin and for my sin. You see, as Jesus served and was the greatest, so we are to serve. And I think of the policemen. Their call is to protect and to serve. You see, their, their importance isn't because of their position, and their importance isn't because of their power. No, their importance is because they protect and they serve and they help us and they come to us in our time of need and it's not for their good, it's for our good. And they care for us and they help us and I'm just thankful for our police department. I'm thankful for those that help us in our time of need, for our fire department and for our EMTs. We pray for them each day because they put themselves in harm's way to help us. You see, it's not that we serve them, they serve us and they help us. And the Bible says among believers, that's to be our attitude. Not to be served, not who, what can somebody do for me, but that we would say, what can I do for someone else? I think of John F. Kennedy, that's what he said. That was one of his sayings. That's not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Well, that's exactly what Jesus says. Ask not what Jesus can do for you. Ask not what the church can do for you. Ask not what other believers can do for you. Ask. How can I serve someone today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? When you see a policeman, you pray for him today. You pray for him because he's protecting and he's serving, not for his own good, for our good, for the good of all of us, that we may live a good and a peaceful life right here in Carthage, Tennessee. Dear Lord, we thank you for our policemen today. I pray, Lord, that we will pray for them. I pray that as we see them drive past, Lord, that we'll lift up a prayer and Lord, just ask your blessing upon them. Lord, I pray for our firemen and our EMTs. Lord, I pray for each one, Lord, that whenever there's danger, whenever there's crisis, Lord, instead of running away, they run toward it. Lord, to help us and to serve us. And Lord, I pray that you'll bless them. Lord, I pray that you'll let this be a reminder to us. Lord, not just to think about in our life how, what we can get and what other people can do for us. Lord, I pray this day, Lord, we'll say, what can we do for someone? How can we serve someone? We truly want to be great in the kingdom of God. Lord, help us to serve. Just like you did. You gave your life a ransom, a payment. You gave your life for many. Lord, I pray for our doctors and our nurses. Lord, as they give of themselves, Lord, to help people in need. Lord, I pray for our elected officials. Lord, for our schools. Lord, for each one. Lord, as they give, as they serve. Lord, it'll be in a sense of helping others. We'll give you praise. Lord, I pray that you'll bless us this day. And Lord, again, as we see a policeman, Lord, we would pray for him. We'd lift him up and we'd say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for those who help us in our time of need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Who can you serve today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Have a great day.